My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? <laughs> now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. And she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they... Now. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Oh, my love, me dispatch. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Oh, really getting out of here, huh? Stergo's got some fucked up interior decorators. Stay close. 
Hey, you're not supposed to be up here. Open this door. I'm calling it in. We have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, there's been a breach in the research Come wing. Come on, Desmond, let's go. Nancy. There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! Look at this place. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Careful. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. That an animus? Hold on. What the? How many of them are there? Wait. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy, what do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. Please. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. Always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? Joke. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Thanks for that. It was great. Like shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Lots this way. So, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. 
The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years. Can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing! With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist. What they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, Take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Hello, Desmond. Go away. Sorry, can't 
talk now. Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, Eagle Vision. Skills? You're more receptive now. So if all goes well, everything Ezio learns in the Animus, you'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. Sorry, Desmond. I've got some stuff to take care of. We can talk more later. I really need to get this ready. Please, mate, bother someone else, okay? I've got stuff to do. So, how does this work? Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? Sean! Well... Here we go. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah! Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor! Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Yeah. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's oh, your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> All righty then, here we go. Now that we are in the past, welcome out. Welcome to my let's play of Assassin's Creed 2 on the Ezio collection. We're just in a little fist fight here. Press uh, square once per hit with the right. I don't know. Ooh, that had to hurt. Behind you! Federico! What are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Alright, here we go. Whoa! 
It's a mob with freakers. They're all freaking. Grab. Throw him. Throw him. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. You can't take that. Yeah, oh. Punch, grab. Ow. Alright, that gives, makes me go backwards. Oh, they're all diving all over the place, eh? Ooh, that had to hurt. What about you? You want some of this? I got it for you. Ow! You punched me in the face. You can't have that. Area not yet available. There's more. Hey. Grab you. Knock him down. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> you took it. You're taking it. You're no match for me. Are he down? Ooh. <gasps> wow. He did? I don't know. He's moving. So. Fall back! Fall back! They're falling back. Hold on. What? Let us won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in their pockets. They're not dead. Loot. There we go. Uh, I need 200. Because apparently I have no money. So I need to steal it from the people I beat up. Ah, they're all in pain. Already done. 79. 91. Alright. Alrighty, indeed. 102. 114. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Yeah, that's enough. Gotta get out before the guards arrive. What's this? Synced. Memory synced. Your next available memory is always shown on your mini map. Ezio. This is the map. Memory start. Point. Memory start. Database. Recent entries. Ezio. All right.
Locations. Locations. Recent entries. Ezio. Something. In a diary entry from 1474, Maria somebody, I can't say that, I don't know how to say that name, one of the great Florentine chroniclers and Ezio's mother describes her son as competitive, stubborn, and loudmouthed, but so passionate that he is impossible to fault him for anything. Complaints to the city guard by several noble partisans seem to suggest he was also something of a womanizer. Anything else? Recent entries. Locations. People. Locations. The truth. The truth. What is the truth? There's nothing here. Locations. Missing entries. Ponte Vecchio. This famous bridge spans the Arno at its narrowest point. The original version was presumably constructed by the Romans, but the first written records only appear in 996. Two previous incarnations of the bridge were swept away in floods before the present structure was built in 1345. A tower was built at the southeast corner to defend it. The bridge consists of three segmented arches. It has always had shops lining the central passageway, a feature which seems extraordinary now but was common during the Renaissance. At first, Butchers took up residence there, but over time they were pushed out by jewelers, souvenir shops, and creepy teenagers chaining locks to the bridge's railing and throwing the keys into the river in a bid for eternal love, not realizing that the locks will be cut off later that day by disgruntled polizia. San Giovanni District. San Giovanni was named after Saint John the Baptist, the patron saint of Florence. It is the oldest area of the city and the center of administration encompassing the Palazzo della Signoria. If big churches are your thing, head to Santa Maria del Fiore on the northern edge. It's the one with a gigantic dome. Firenze. Founded by Julius Caesar in 59 BCE, Florentia is, as it was called by the Romans, quickly became a center of commerce. After the sacking of Rome in the 5th century, the Ostrogoths took over. Under their rule, the city was constantly under attack from the Byzantines, who sent the population level below 1,000. Lombards came to power in the 6th century, ending the Byzantine assaults. Florence grew to a population of 80,000 in the 14th century, of which 25,000 were working in the wool industry. The 1378 in 1378, a major revolt of the lower class led to the wool combers rising up and seizing the government of the city. Their progressive, radical democracy lasted for less than two months before the upper classes seized control once more, but the revolt was so terrified the rich that a century later was still discussed in hushed tones. Much as the 1960s hippie movement is today. That's a long time ago. The Il 
busy family became the de facto rulers after the revolt, worried about the rise of the Medici family who were newly rich bankers rapidly gaining influence in Florence. Maso and Rinaldo Abizzi imprisoned Cosimo de Medici and exiled him in 1433, but Cosimo gained influence behind the scenes and rose to power in 1434, exiling the entire Albizzi family except for Luca, who had been loyal to Cosimo. Luca Albizzi enjoined the Signora, the ruling body of Florence, as Don Falonier. Don Fall on ear, succeeding Cosimo's old friend. Lots of names I can't pronounce. Under the Medici family, which built impressive public buildings and supported such luminaries as Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Botticelli, the Renaissance began with Florence security securely at its center. That was a lot. Recent entries. People, locations, nothing in the truth. Map, database, already looked at the database. Inventory, armor, empty, weapons. Fists! We have fists! Supplies, medicine, items, outfits, altar. Okay. One thing I'm excited for in. Access database. Federico Ezio's older brother and the eldest. Federico entered the Medici Bank as a clerk when he was 19. However, the bank's logs indicate he mostly. Yeah. One entry goes into detail on 17. September 17th, 1475, a bag of gold florins went missing. After panic struck the bank, the elder approached Francesco Sassetti and with a smile revealed the location of the bag, which had been hidden on the rooftop. If he weren't the son of Giovanni, I'd speak to Medici about having him put in the stocks. Unsurprisingly, Federico was removed from the bank's payroll shortly after his 20th birthday. Who is this? Just a random dude? Punch. How about a... Hey, you. You can't go in there. Area's locked off. What happens if I do this? Yeah, what happens if I keep doing this? Yeah. You gotta... You gotta... Memory over here. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Follow Federico to the doctor. We're running. Yeah. We don't walk on the ground like normal people, do we? We do this. I 
I'm excited for that. Uh, why are we stopped? Ben trovato, Doctor. Hmm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Forty <laughs> There we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. Database. Hey. Doctors. That doctor should be able to heal you if you pay him. Diagrams of the human body and the printing press influenced Renaissance medicine greatly, which had, had in turn been influenced by Arabic medicine during the Middle Ages. By the 15th century, science had already begun its slow climb towards becoming more relevant than spirituality in the field of healthcare. However, many People stubbornly clung to the old ways, visiting local mystics instead of doctors. After the plague ravaged Europe in 1350, many doctors dressed in special plague gear to, tra to treat patients. To prevent contamination, they wore a cape coated in wax and a primitive gas mask in the shape of a beak. Indeed. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. Except on the count of three. One, two, three. <clears throat> Baby brother All right. still has much to learn. We'll race. Come on, Tartaruga. Whoa, what are you doing? Freaker. Freaker. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Which race lost? I didn't know where to go. Well, that sucked. Baby brother still has much to learn. I didn't know I'd just lose. Come on, Tartaruga. Uh oh. Come on. You can't move? You don't know how to move? Hmm? Alright, let's try it again. Baby brother still has much to learn. I guess I'm supposed to win this race. Come on, Tartaruga. How do you... We jump, we lose, we lose, and we jump at the same time, but we lost. How do they expect me to win if I start out, I'm already Baby behind. <laughs> Alright, go there, Come on, go there. Just watch him, watch what he'd do. 
What the? He's a loser! Ezio is! Jumping around like a maniac instead of doing what he's supposed to be doing. Yes. 40 minutes into the video. Baby brother still has much to learn. I need to win this race or else there's nothing I can do. Come on, Tartaruga. Watch what he's doing. How am I supposed to win? He's always ahead of me. I'm getting frustrated. I am getting frustrated indeed. Baby brother still has much to learn. Here we go. Come on, Tartaruga. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah. Race Come one. On, this way. Where are you going? Checkpoint reach. You'll see. We're going up here. Are you not able to move? You don't know how to move. Where am I going? How do I get out of here? Huh? Up here. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. Okay. Press to synchronize. Map updated. Checkpoint reached. How does the map look? Map looks like that. Viewpoint. Viewpoint, point, viewpoint, point, Ezio. Here we go. So it's Vieri. Better hide. Keep looking. He couldn't have gotten far. Uh mm. also status icons identify the level of danger and position of enemies. <laughs> Hide from enemies and <laughs> stacks. All right. What do I do now? Are those enemies? I don't know. What's <laughs> doing? Uh, 
that are go up here. Up here we go. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait, uh, that came out wrong. Come on. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Christina! Christina! Elia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Ora! Escape the guards! Uh-oh. Better escape the guards. Whoa. You have me confused with someone else. Yeah, you have me confused. Hiding spots appear as blue. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Jump. Jump. They're throwing rocks at me. Are they? Throwing rocks? I need to figure out how to go through the city. This is getting annoying. Annoying as hell. Can't go that way. Just run. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! You wanna go? Go a few rounds? You nobody's nothing. Ooh! They knocked me down. Ugh! Nobody's nothings. Fist fight, low health. I'll get you. Shame on you, you pieces of shit. Synced. I did it. Doctors now available for healing. Database. Society. Doctors. Recent entries. DNA. All right. Doctors are now. Press to select medicine.
Yeah, okay. I need to heal. How do I do that? As yo. Two points. Blacksmith. Doctor. Doctor. What the hell? That cloak. Who that boy? That could be funny cloak. I don't like the look of that. Need to heal. Come, don't be shy. I only aim to heal. Shop. Heal now. Medicine. Except uh, filling the medicine. Medicine. It rest and you should be well recovered, friend. Okay. Memory start. Gotta find this viewpoint. Can you move? Can you move? That is the question. Uh oh. Is this it? Why can't he move? Why can't he move? Synchronize. Map updated. Here we go. You did. Just look at my wares and see for yourself. All right. Who are you? Whoa! Oh no! Freakers, they're freaking... All freaking. Got you. You down. You all down. Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. 
I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo de' Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, father. Return to me when it's done. Accept. Deliver the letter. database the truth documents letters al magnifico lorenzo di medici mio protettore e amico i have done as requested and completed my investigation into the Milano incident. I can confirm for you that it extends far beyond the satisfaction with Duca Galeazzo Sforza's rule. It is my belief that other parties desirous of far greater gains manipulated events in such a way as to achieve their goals without being revealed themselves. Lampugnani, Olgiati, and Visconti are guilty of the crime, to be sure. And they have met fitting ends for their betrayal. But several other noble families are implicated as well. Our own Francesco di Pazzi among them. Their cause and motive is not yet clear to me, but initial findings indicate a plan. The scope of which is sure to disturb you. Best we continue this conversation in person, as I am hesitant to put my suspicion to paper. Reply with a place and time and I will meet you there. I have also ordered Francesco be held by the Gonfaloniere until we can clear up this matter. Yours in confidence, Giovanni. Okay. So I must deliver the letter. Here's the map. Italy I zoom back in like that all right let us be on our way then <laughs> okay. Going the wrong way. Wrong way I am going. Ooh. Show some respect. The gods you... have little patience for you. Um, I swear, I mean you no harm, Messer. All right. Indeed. Indeed, Creed. Only the height of the smithy arts are available here. Gotta go deliver this letter, but this part's winding down. First part of the let's play. So. Oh shit. Shit. Don't bother me. I'm not doing anything. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this first part of my let's play of Assassin's Creed 2 on the Ezio Collection. See you on the next one.